I am Mr. Velasquez from my teacher for today. Before we proceed to our discussion, let's have a short recap of your previous lesson. Today, we will solve problem involving factoring of polynomials under learning task number 5. So, let's proceed to our example. Example number 1. If the sum of the square of the number and 4 times the number is 21, what is the number? In solving our example number 1, let x represent the number. So we need to translate our word phrase to mathematical phrase, wherein the sum, the sum of the square of a number and 4 times a number is equal to 21. So we need to equate this equation into zero. So we need to apply addition property of equality. So x squared plus 4x minus 21 is equal to 21 minus 21. Okay, so it will be zero. So we, this will be our polynomial that we need to factor. But before that, let's uh, find out what is the factors of our first term. So our first term is x squared. So x multiplied by x is the factors of x squared. But what is the factors of negative 21? It will be positive 21, negative 1, negative 21, positive 1, 7, negative 7 times 3, or positive 7 multiplied by negative 3. These are the factors of negative 21. So to come up with the middle term, or our last term in our factors, we need to find what is the uh, number that has the sum of positive 4. So it will be 7 and negative 3. So these two terms will be our last term in our factor. So our factor is x for the first term and for the last term is positive 7 and negative 3. So what will be our answer in our example number 1? Given the figure, find the area of the shaded part of the rectangle if the area of the big rectangle is 6 times the area of the unshaded rectangle. Here is the solution. In order to solve our example number 2, we're in, we need to find the area of the shaded part of this figure. So in finding that, we need to subtract the area of the bigger rectangle to the area of the small rectangle. But before that, we need to find what is the value of the length and what is the value of our, the width. So we need x plus 6. x because it is given the small rectangle plus the the measurement of this shaded part is 6, 3 plus 3. Our length naman is 2x here, the given, plus 6. Because we have 3 here and 3 here. So this is the value of the length of the bigger rectangle and the width of the bigger rectangle. So in order to find out the area of our rectangle, we have the formula then multiplied by b. This is for the bigger rectangle. So we have the length is 2x plus 6 and x plus 6, the width. So we need to uh, find the quadratic trinomial of this factor. So using the Cori method, 2x multiplied by x is 2x, 6 multiplied by 6 is 36, 6 multiplied by 6 plus x is 6x, 2x multiplied by 6 is 12x, we need to sum of this two, so we have 18x. So we have a trinomial 2x squared plus 18x plus 36. So what have you noticed in our quadratic trinomial? So we have a common number, which is 2. So x squared plus 9x plus 18. So we need two factor of this polynomial. So we have two quantity of x plus 6 and quantity of x plus 3. So we need to, what will be the value of x? Can you guess? And that's the end of our discussion for today. You need to accomplish your learning task number 5 on page 9 in your module. And in the worksheet, you need to accomplish learning task number 3, work problem is not a problem. 
And also, learning task number four, we salute you, our dear frontliners. Happy learning!